Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to run your Spring Boot project using Gradle. So first of all, go to springstarter.io. So first of all, open the uh, steps. So this will make you clear about how to do the stops. So as it says, you will need a 15 minutes or less than that and you need a id i i will be using uh, intel ij so if you are using uh, eclipse or spring tool suit so it's okay it's fine to use both of them so i would just suggest you to use um, intel ij so it's quite uh, easier than these two and it's also with improved version and so if you want to improve your quality of writing code in spring boot so you must use I'm, i mean i i strongly recommend you to use this intelizer so you need to have uh, java installed so check to check if your operating system is having java version or not so just type java version and if you see this kind of message so java is installed in your system so if you haven't installed in your system, I will be sharing this link. So this is very easy way to install. Just type sudo apt and this will install Java version 8 in your system. In Ubuntu system, so if you are using Windows, so it has a different kind of technology. I mean different kind of steps. So you can follow by just searching on Google. So I'm using Ubuntu. So I just give this uh, reference for Ubuntu users. So if you have Java installed in your system, so you can go to this Spring Starter IO. Let me find that. Okay, go to Spring Starter and type Gradle. So I'm I'm demonstrating for Gradle. For my one, it's easier. Mm, and I will be selecting my Java version 8 and I will add the dependency spring spring wave so this is my dependency to run my uh, spring project uh, so just change the name uh, spring boot gradle demo so the name you can write whatever you want and generate this one so this will create the zip folder and extract in your specified location and wherever you want and just go into open your IntelliJ and open and find the path where we have extracted the uh, zip file so I have extracted in my download folder so I'll be clicking OK so this will load my Spring Boot project. So let's follow the steps from this documentation. So I would strongly recommend you to go through this. Sorry, go through this documentation. So documentation is very essential for programmers to uh, boost up their skills. So it's very good. I mean, it's it's necessary thing to read the documentation for all the programmers. So this will just build my Gradle project. So this will take quite a bit of time. So until then, let me see here. So in case of Maven, so it will create the pom.xml file just to uh, just you have added the dependencies and dependencies will show in the pom.xml file. So in case of Gradle, the, the dependencies will be shown in the builder Gradle. So this is the main difference between the Maven project and Gradle project. The, the dependencies are stayed in the pom.xml in case of Maven, whereas um, in case of Gradle, builder Gradle is created uh, in case of Gradle, Gradle project. So this will be creating a builder gradle so it's taking quite a time so let me wait for 
this is spring gradle demo project to build so it's building and also I will be showing you um, to run the gradle project uh, from this ID as well as from command line as well so if you are using uh, Linux based uh, distributions so it's quite easier for you to run through this command line it makes life very easier so this is it now it has created a spring boot uh, application file so this is the main file this will help you to run your project so if this kind of gradle refresh comes here so you can refresh to build your project and this is it now let's go to the documentation and let me create a, a file I mean Java class called hello controller let me create a Java class uh, hello controller the Java so this will create a hello controller the Java class and you can directly copy this as well but why to copy uh, let me add the annotation called rest uh, controller and type enter so it will import automatically in IntelliJ mm, and the process is similar for the spring tool suit or if you are using Eclipse as well and let me give the path uh, I mean request mapping so this will create a path you can use slash as well as you can write your own name as well as whatever you want so public string so I mean string and let me give a function index and return something hello this is my first gradle project right so put semicolon and you're done I mean you can just put this one as well so I don't think you will need to do this so let me run my project To run the project you can just click here so you can see here it, it is started in the port 8080 so go to your browser and type localhost 80 80 and slash and you can see here hello this is my first gradle project so you are done uh, so this is by using using your ID now I will be showing you using um, command line so how to run your project using command line go to this directory and just open your terminal and type so you can see here gradle w is present there just type gradle w and build so this will build the gradle gradle project so let it get to build this project first
take some time so build is successful now to run the project uh, gradle w and boot run just type this command and you will be done your spring boot app will run in your terminal as well so if you're using windows you can just do the same thing in your command prompt and the same process will uh, run your spring boot application so my spring boot application has been started in the port 8080 so let me check so first close this one and i will check again localhost 8080 and you can see here this is my gradle project so thank you so much for watching and i'll be uploading more videos about java linux and other stuff so just subscribe my channel and if you like this video just click on the like button thank you so much